Welcome to another edition of Museum Makes. Today we're going to be deep sea explorers and we're going to make some jellyfish, just like this one here. So the first thing you need to do is get a piece of card or paper. Um, any kind of paper is good. It can be patterned like this one or plain like the one we've done here. And if it's plain, you might want to do some decorations with pens or paints or collage. Then you need to make a circle. Now here's one I've prepared earlier just for speed. The bigger the circle, the bigger the jellyfish. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the middle of the circle by doing a very little gentle fold. First one way and then the opposite way. And you can start to see where the middle is. And we're going to cut a line, just one, from the edge to roughly the middle of your circle. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a length of thread or wool or yarn, ribbon, whatever you've got lying around. You can make it as long or as short as you like. And tie a knot at one end so that your jellyfish thread does not come through the hole that you're just about to put it in. So there we go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that the thread's on the top side and the knot's on the bottom. The next little job is to get your glue stick and put some glue along one of the edges, just maybe a little bit along the curved edge. And we're going to make it into this cone shape. So just keep putting it round. Very crafty, keeping the, the thread at the top until you're happy with the shape. Now that's good enough for me, I think, today. So this is going to be a lovely zingy green jellyfish. Now, in order to hang it up, you might want to tie a little loop at the top. So I'm just going to do that quickly. There we go. Now the next thing your jellyfish needs is some tentacles. And for this, I'm going to be using just some bits of tissue paper. I've chosen two different green colours, but you can, again, you can use whatever you've got at home. You might have ribbon, you might just have other pieces of wool, you could have ordinary card, you can have the kind of spirally um, gift ribbon that you can buy at Christmas time, so you might have that kicking around in your house. Anything you like, it really doesn't matter. And you need to have about eight to 12 strips. Now, again, we've pre-cut these just to make it quicker. And what I'm gonna use is I'm just gonna use some small strips of sellotape to stick them round the edge. thing we need to do is we're going to put some expression on the jellyfish's face by making some eyes. Now I've got some eye stickers here which I'm going to use but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make yourself a couple of little eyes. So take a piece of white paper or card, it could be coloured, black felt pen, make yourself a pair of eyes, cut them out and you just need to stick them on with your glue stick but just for speed and for quirkiness, I'm going to use these eye stickers that I had kicking around. And I'm going to give this little jellyfish a slightly cross-eyed look. There we go. All done. This museum makes is inspired by Explore, Travellers and Trailblazers, our family-friendly exhibition that takes you round the world to infinity and beyond. It's coming to Dunfermline Carnegie Library and Galleries very soon. Check out our website for details. And until then, keep exploring. Mm -hmm.